guys, it's Jamie. Uh, I guess, so I'm not burying the lead for this whole video. This is a video about how I just got a tattoo of a worm and it was a mistake. I just got back from the tattoo parlor and I'm making this video uh, to tell you about my tattoo. So anyways, last year I went through a really rough stretch where I didn't know that I had OCD or bipolar disorder and so I went through this really bad phase where I just, I was like scratching at my skin all the time and I was really frustrated and I ended up just like this human scab and I had, and, and then I got better and I got medicine and uh, you know, but I had some scarring from it and so on New Year's, around New Year's I was thinking like, hey it would be really cool if I got like a tattoo to I don't know just be like oh this was hard and then you got through this experience and so I was thinking about it and I was like oh I think I'm gonna get a tattoo just sort of like surrounding one of like the smaller scars on my leg I illustrate uh, as part of my income so I was like I would really like to design it I think that'd be cool and I oh boy uh, I, I made a design and I made it in a bunch of different colors and I sent it to my friends and they helped me decide what they thought the best one was and it was like very exciting and I was ready and I had everything printed out and I made the appointment and then this morning I was working but I was also watching Gilmore Girls season 2 for the first time in 2017 and then I just had this idea where I was like you know what fuck the leg tattoo I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make one for one of the tattoos on my arm and and then I just started googling things I like blacked out and I started googling things I learned about colors and numerology I had so many tabs that you could just see the first letter of everything on the tab and then you read it and it says like don't do this! And I sent it to the tattoo artist and I went in and he was like, okay, this will be really fast, let's do it. Do you want to explain it to me? And I was like, no, you know, fuck you, this is my bipolar cool tattoo. And I almost got my Robert Durst tattoo, but then I decided like, that's too like ironic. Like I, you know, I don't need an ironic tattoo. I have a personality, so I, I'm just gonna get this one. And then um, he finished. It didn't take long and I was looking at it and I thought I had this simple black and white pattern that was uh, just, I don't know, I was like, this is so right. I drew this and I got through this and now I'm giving a strange man a bunch of money to put it on my forearm. And then it was finished and I looked down at it and it was a, a worm. <laughs> I got, I'll show you, I got a tattoo of a worm on my forearm. This is not a joke. This is real. Um, <laughs> so I, I got a tattoo of a worm and you know, do you ever just like dig really deep inside yourself and spend, you know, hours and hours trying to design this thing that expresses uh, your, your darkest hour and then it's just it's a worm. It's, I didn't even realize it was a worm until the tattoo artist finished and was like, hey, cool worm! And now I have a tattoo of a worm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I, you know, and my, my stomach just like, I mean, I don't know what Captain E.J. Smith of the Titanic felt when he realized that he was not gonna get out of this scrap. But I think I felt that way because now I have a tattoo of a worm and in a, it's, in a, it's in a very prominent place on my body where I'm not going to be able to hide it. And I said to the tattoo artist, oh, it's not a worm. It's an outline of a scar and then 11 lines because June 23rd, 6 plus 2 plus 3 and because I had adversity, but now it's not as much. And he was like, oh, okay, well... If you don't want to explain that to people, you can just say it's a worm. And I said, okay. And it's not even a good worm because I wasn't trying to make it a worm. So it's just like a fourth grader's rendering of a worm. And now I have a worm and I don't, I don't know what God's plan for me was. But if it actually for real involved inexplicably getting a tattoo of a worm that I didn't want, I'm really pissed.